machine to reach this place. Uh, you go first, and I'll be right behind you. The secret stronghold is... a cafe? aren't going to be faced by anything. Let me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. Huh? Hey, let me ask you something. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. To be more precise, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Ugh, spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover, not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. I'll pass. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Dreamville is frivolous, vain, and flashy, and that suits me just fine. Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. Really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Penacony? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked? Apologize to him on your knees? And promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? friends. Oh, please. You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Listen, little peacock. 
You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> so long! Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. What a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. not to get caught. Don't worry, this place isn't dangerous, just, um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. My secret stronghold is in this area. Let's sneak inside. Guests are supposed to... <clears throat> Excuse me, there's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. Drat! We're caught right away. Could you... Uh, please make an exception? We're not gonna cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the Dreamers are allowed here. He won't budge. People ask for favors every day. Am I supposed to just say yes to all of them? None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. <sighs> Seems like you won't give in. Um, let me think of another way. Perhaps Clocky's clockwork trick can come in handy? This doesn't count as malicious intent, right? None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site. Ugh! Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? You're going to regret it. Ugh, you're asking for it. Oh, and I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. I deal with punks like you all the time. You fear for nothing just because you're young and energetic you idle away your time every day going around stirring up trouble you contribute nothing to society let me help you spoiled brats learn the hard way go sweet dreams troop teach them a lesson Your end approaches. Stand still. Stand still. Just a scratch. Too little. Failed to set you. Divinity. Repay. Uh, 
Uh -huh. Darn it! I can't believe I've lost! Uh, is this... Is this the power of youth? If I'd had that power back then, would we have ended up differently, Mia? Uh, 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 uh. All right. Uh, you can go in. As the winner here, yeah. you deserve it. Seems like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. Never imagined that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. <laughs> that trick of Clocky's really is amazing. the end of the story in your own way. The path ends here. For the rest of the way, we need to borrow the dream tools. What happens next is going to blow your mind. Different points in space are linked together? Now we can go to the other side. This is how the Nightingale family repairs the dreamscape. Fascinating, isn't it? Broken. 
to say bye. Boom. Oh, 
jam, and it comes out just like that. No matter how many times I've seen it, it still looks magical. Let's go. the dream of Peniconi. These 
areas are not developed yet, so guests don't come here. It's not as lively as the town center here, but I relish the serene atmosphere. Say bye. Boom. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Right? Ha! 
over time for two months. Why don't I have any inspiration today? Uh, who's there? Why are there guests here? Y you know what? I don't care how you stuck in. Just leave me alone. If you prevent me from finishing my work on time, I'm gonna make you pay for it. better time than now to put it to action. He wandered off, but he left behind the puzzle piece. Say bye. Boom. The fight is set. Savor it for me. Reach the end of the story in your own way.
divinity. Don't hurt. Your end approaches. Bloom. Repay. Stand still. I underestimated you. Failed to set you.
time I pass through. Not only do we have to activate the dream's eye, but we also have to close it a couple of times to get through. attention? I don't think we can get around them. Knocking them out is the only way to go. Let's get rid of them. I underestimated you. approaches. Stand still. <laughs> yeah. Rules are made to be broken. I underestimated you. Time to say bye. Boom. Savor it for me. Breaking by Robin. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. This spot is the closest place to the sky in the dreamscape. It's far away from the hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. The scenery, the people and the dreams without being disturbed by anyone. How beautiful. <laughs> Time is frozen at this golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern, 
and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection, the wandering ranger and the IPC ambassador, the Astral Express nameless, and me. Everyone falls asleep here equally, regardless of our different agendas. I'm sorry. I really am still away. I knew I couldn't hide it from you. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago. It was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but... I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like... many of the Penacone locals. The Harmony accepts everyone, including wanderers from afar. Metropolis. Some have a dream called Panacone, but some have dreams that are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. And it's likewise for me. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. But I can't. So... I want to give it a shot here. Entropy loss syndrome. Have you heard of this term? It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away, and the process is barely noticeable to others. You can still run, jump, and talk as usual. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because they have all been shattered. So how can I possibly resist it? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen and see and touch and think and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. Just like this moment. I'm sorry. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. I am, in fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least, I really hope things don't turn out that way. It's okay. Thanks. In my dream, I saw a scorpion.
scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and it whispered to me. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. The nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water, and the future that you don't want to face will never come. Why do people choose to sleep? I think it's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. I mean, don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? Selfie. Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times, why didn't I think of taking a photo? I feel a little awkward taking it by myself. Would you like to join me? Let's commemorate this moment. I can be a little bit camera shy. <laughs> Just don't laugh at me. Here, you hold the camera. Soaring past the night to trace the primal light. Good. Let's do this. One, two, say cheese. Do you have to go back already? <laughs> Time really flies. I feel like going back to reality and resting too. Come on, let's say goodbye at Golden Hour. to go to the hotel to return to reality. Strange. Where's everyone gone? Again, my dear. It looks like you have not taken my warnings to heart. A oh, pity. Are you so enchanted by that girl? You're just so blind. Careful. I'm more than certain now that this friend of yours is dangerous. Oh, this brave little girl appears to be protecting you. I wonder why. Are you two that close? You talk too much. Oh, I love your attitude, my dear. I have to admit you're different from your friend here. Your senses are much sharper. Even so, you are lagging far behind the main party. 
Have you not noticed yet what the family is hiding? The secret behind this sweet dream? And as for you, the trailblazer who saved the ice world, I wonder how much others might have embellished Sempo's story when recounting the happenings on Yorello 6. It's surprising what tales they spin. Oh well, it was my problem for trusting him. I'm really, really disappointed in you. Um, excuse me. Why don't you rest, rest for me? a little while? Inside the real dreamscape. <laughs> oh. This... What is this place? I'm back at the hotel? No, this feeling. The surroundings look a little like I just entered a dream. Can't get in touch with. Are you in there? This is too weird. when you woke up as well. The ticking of clocks all around us. <sighs> My gut tells me that the secret hidden here is also linked to the mysterious watchmaker. If it points us towards the watchmaker's legacy, it will be connected to everyone who has melded to Penacone's dream. Let's go. We have to move. Be it to find an exit or the truth. Let's take the way around from the side. Dead end here, too. Given the layout of the room. Aren't they really suggesting we maneuver around using the walls?
underestimated you. Well timed. The fight is set. Receive divinity. Savor it for me. to say bye. that can only be witnessed in a dream. These uh, words have been appearing and then vanishing persistently for a while now. Whose thoughts are they? And who is this Mikhail? It's like I can feel emotions contained within them. Confusion, fear, Sadness, and, and others so faint I can barely feel them. Unyielding resolve in the face of death.
Surprise me. Your end approaches. Receive divinity. Unnecessary. <laughs> Eternal sleep is not the end. Return! <laughs> you chose the wrong enemy. Stand still. Let's go. Ha! Rules are made to be broken. Relax. This is 
If you don't know the right technique, you might never return from the shadow of death, emerging without a scratch. Lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. How was it? Did you dream of me? I didn't do much. Just helped you leave the memory zone. Welcome to reality. More specifically, the Reverie, the safest and most familiar place you can be. I'm happy to see that you've kept your wits and that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. How lucky. I know you've many questions, so please compose yourself. Before that, you should let your friends know you're safe. Recollection. Uh, not 
Not exactly. Miss Himeko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not quite yet. But, thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. So how did you end up there? And what the heck happened? So, the one who attacked you was a girl dressed in red, adept at illusory arts, and was able to shapeshift. Her name is Sparkle. A masked fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry, she won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. It seems you know her well. Of course, I know everyone here. On Penacony, anyone could be lying, but the remembrance does not lie. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations, but that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Penacony itself. Penacony itself? Have you not sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. And the memory zone she fell into that's the true dreamscape. Chaotic, dangerous, enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. <sighs> She's right. Everyone, do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Panacone's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. What could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what she just experienced, and the answer is clear. Panacani's dream is sinking right now, turning back to its original form, and falling into the deep sea. Sinking? You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? The encounter at the dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would, it would tarnish the name of the planet of festivities. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that she encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme? How could a meme that heralds death and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? Everyone could be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, for what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Hmm. Let me rephrase, then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, 
I simply wish to make an exchange related to the remembrance. Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuits in aesthetics. I am a memo keeper and a collector. I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? As for you all, nameless of the Astral Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze, I have faith in your potential, as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash on the stage. This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <laughs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. I understand. But before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. Naturally. Take your time. How do you see things, Himiko? It's best to be skeptical of her. There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. But I worry about the worst outcome. If the dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated by someone behind the scenes... Then it likely has something to do with the Watchmaker's invite. Huh. How'd you figure that one out? Well, excluding any extreme scenarios, the mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family which narrows it down to two possibilities. Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Either that, or the family has been forced to seek outside aid surreptitiously for self-preservation. But from the encrypted message on the invite and the family's reaction, the former is more likely. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. Maybe even the same person. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean a thing, right? In terms of methods, both the Fools and the Riddlers could pull it off. Hasn't the IPC cracked the message too? <sighs> March, calm down. It's just a possibility. But if this encrypted message isn't some harmless prank, but done so to invite the Trailblaze into the fray, we cannot remain uninvolved. Well, let me tell you what I discovered, and I'm sorry. It's bad news. According to reliable sources, some people spotted a tall silver armored man on Panacone. I've reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and visited many of those guests who claim to have seen this invader. And this is what I received. I've sent it to you. Open it and take a look.
the various factions have started to move. I wish you luck. Don't fall behind, nameless. Those Stellaron hunters, they even factored Peniconi into their plan. Nowhere safe from them. The situation is clear. The planet of festivities isn't what it seems on the surface. Everyone's sights, including the factions in the family, are set on the Watchmaker's legacy. Every party has its own motives, and they're attempting to thwart each other. While we still don't know what this legacy entails, it's only a matter of time before the power struggle ensnares innocent bystanders. The Molten Knight, Sam, is reportedly a remnant of Klamoth's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered warrior. He possesses superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. This message is a threat. The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a uh, visit seems necessary. We may be on amicable terms, but that doesn't mean they trust us. Let's act first and talk later. If the family asks, just tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellaron Hunters. I'm sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. Then we are in agreement. Let's return and inform Miss Black Swan. Miss Black Swan, the Express is willing to cooperate with you. We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. I'm at your service. I will not disappoint. You two, return to your own rooms. Enter the dream, and if everything goes without a hitch, we'll see one another at the Dreamscape Hotel's lobby. I'll stay in the real world to ensure everyone's safety. If needed, I will also parlay with the family. I assume there's no problem, Miss Black Swan? It seems that I'll have a hard time gaining your trust, even if I personally did rescue your friends. <laughs> It's no problem, of course, other than the fact that my feelings are a little hurt. We're counting on you, Welt. As for us, let's get ready to see the dreamscape's true visage. We'll be busy for a while. I wonder if Fireflies returned to reality yet. Hmm. I don't have her contact info. I'll ask Black Swan. Welcome to Pinaconi, honored guest. Back in this familiar room. This way, darling. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? <laughs> That's good then. I know you're more sensitive to Memoria, thus more easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany you. I shall use my methods to relieve you. Don't worry, as your companions are safe. I had both of them each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. They're already awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Time waits for no one. We must hurry to the lobby. March's room is this way. I should go meet up with her. I know what you're thinking, but alas, that girl isn't in there, and neither is this her room. 
The moment you stepped into the memory zone, reality's building structures lost all meaning. I can sense that she is in a faraway place right now. In the meantime, if we want to find that lobby the navigator mentioned, we'll have to try a little harder. These poor little things stumbling about. Ah, uh, her! Are there no staff members here at all? Huh? What are you doing here? Yes, she's the memo keeper I mentioned. We'll have to cut the banter short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? I'm indebted to you both for your help. doing here we could ask you the same thing it's probably not as complicated as it sounds it's all thanks to a masked fool maybe I unwittingly hurt her and then in a flash of kaleidoscopic light I ended up here you aren't hiding anything are you hiding I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. Your arrival is timely. This dreamscape is fraught with danger. Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? I can protect you from harm, but in the memory zone I'll need assistance from the memo keeper as well. And if we run into the family, it wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain the situation. Hmm. What do you think? Thank you. I'm truly grateful. Glad to be traveling with you again, Miss Black Swan. Hmm. I truly hope so. upside down. The memory zone is constantly shifting its form. Looks like we'll have to think of a way to walk on the ceiling. We're standing on the ceiling right now. Miss Acheron's words speak sense. Regardless, we have to reach that flat surface hanging overhead. And we're not scaling the pillar, of course. I'll teach everyone some traversal tricks used in the memory zone. Your end approaches. 
stand still. Savor it for me. level is mere child's play to a memo keeper. Come on, let's head out through the front door. You're natural, aren't you? You're a prodigy at remembrance. We've arrived. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination with it. But the memory zone up ahead appears to be severely twisted. Be careful, everyone. I told you it wasn't going to be that simple. Where is this? <sighs> this door is locked too. There's no end to this. Let me try. This memory zone is overly twisted. I have to use an elegant method, so you two, please give me a little time. Hmm. Got it. I can see the core of this dreamscape, and there are members of the family, and some figures trying to find their way forward. It appears that your friends aren't faring too well. One, two, Three. Wait. Three. There's a third person seeking the way to the lobby. Wait. It's... the girl who was with you. It eludes me, but there is a known semblance in the memory zone, mirroring the essence she radiates. What reason does she have to delve so deep into the dreamscape? She... Is she running? No. Running away? Something's right behind her. This is not good. Everyone, we must hurry. There's no time. I'll just have to break the rules and use some methods to help you phase through the memory zone. I picked up slivers of her thoughts in the memory zone. These will help you form an impression of her. Now, you must hang on to these thoughts with all your might and shape them in your mind. I caught some very familiar memories just now. She's not the only old friend who has appeared here. There was also a third party at the scene when you ran into danger. That memory zone- Hurry, through here. Scorched 
earth, and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun, and whispered to me, Why do people choose to sleep? I think... It's because... They're afraid to awaken from the dream. Watch out! A dangerous presence lurks nearby. Everyone, be on your guard. Look at me. Calm down. Deep breaths. All right? Allow me. Relax. You'll be fine. I'm really sorry, but I have to leave for a short while. Death still hovers about, and I must personally ensure Miss Himiko and Miss March 7th's safety, and warn them. I'll leave her to you, Miss Acheron. I'm sorry for what happened. I was too focused on that girl and got sloppy. It was my hesitation that caused her to lose her life. I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry, I... Before the hunt, we should keep our eyes peeled and consider where the true enemies are hiding and how to fight them. Do not let pain dictate your thoughts. Compose yourself and you will walk the right path. Once, someone said to me, no compassion for the enemy, for that is cruelty upon yourself. But you must see clearly who the true enemy is. And then, with one swing of your blade, you must understand its meaning and the price you pay. This is the only advice I have for you, from someone burdened with a blood debt. I'm back. Miss Himiko has something to tell you. There's good news and bad news. Please take her and retreat to a safe location. 
If time allows, you can investigate Firefly's matter first. Meet later at Clocky Statue. Which is why I must undertake Miss Himiko's request and bring both of you back to reality. I'm glad to see that you're fine. Let us reach a safe place before speaking again. Miss Black Swan, do you not intend to open some sort of teleporter? Mm, I don't recommend that. Her mental state is unstable. So we have to avoid any rough traversal methods like just now. Also, while we're departing, we can still do more for Miss Firefly, can't we? Some remnants of her presence linger nearby. Seize the chance to etch them into your remembrance before they're gone. If we can start investigating on the way, that'd be good. Let's go. We have to find another path. Sorry, but could you give me a few more minutes? I... Uh, I have some unfinished business. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. Let's go. This way. Follow me. What's going on? Why is it getting hot in the... These are all charred remains. They're still smoldering. The culprit can't have gotten far. I suppose we can slow down for now then. Looks like this monster was slain by a thermic weapon. Looks like this monster died of a hyperthermic reaction. Something's off. These traces are fresh. Someone just left the scene. Would this person have anything to do with what's happened just now? I cannot reach a conclusion with so few clues. Just listen to your gut. You were the one who said that... the remembrance doesn't lie. From the memories of these carcasses, that person was tall and much stronger than an adult male. The method was clean and crisp. All one strike kills. Maybe a mercenary or an assassin. He entered through the door from the lobby and went farther into the hotel. If that's the case, he should have seen everything that happened here. I take back what I said. We have to hurry to that memory zone where Miss Firefly's presence was imprinted. Considering what this person can do, if his goal is that place as well, there won't be anything left there. You two this way. I'll try to create a stable shortcut for you. Look. Upon leaving the lobby, the structure has become chaotic. Phase through that corridor and be careful. Do not alert the meme. This is truly a magnificent sight. It's this room, then? Yes. More precisely, it's right below. Exactly what it means. Down. 
You two may not be able to face through physical structures like memo keepers, but I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach the floor right below this room. It's really easy. See the chandelier? Next, we want to create some reasonably small movements. Still remember what I taught you? Feel the flow of the memoria, walk up the wall, and then get close to it. Broken. Time to say bye. Boom. 
Receive divinity. The fight is set. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Looks good. Solitary chain. Go say hello to it. Look, it's common sense and easy, right? Are we jumping down from here? Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice, soft landing. Okay, here we go. We landed safely. This is... amazing. Don't imitate the Memo Keeper without the accompaniment of one. Well... Wouldn't it be lovely if these nosy newcomers found their way back home? Nothing Your end approaches. Stand still. Time to say bye. Boom. The head returns! Yeah! Relax. Stand still.
Here, how about I show you a little magic trick? Are you ready? <laughs> Don't be too surprised. Is that... Firefly? Yes. It's what this room left behind. The memories of her. The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of memoria. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. As for the context, we'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. sharing her discovery with someone, and it's related to the Watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. fragmented pieces of information. It seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway, and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. But... why? She mentioned that this transaction involves the Watchmaker, and that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless... There's something else he cares more about and needs. Or should I say, is verifying. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. There's actually a path here. Unpredictable pathways pointing toward a wandering meme. She was completely lost in the memory. <laughs> ultimately leads one to the layer of death. back in the lobby. If that's the case. After that, it's the end. Everyone, over there. It seems like someone has been awaiting us. Ready to step into the spotlight now. Stellaron Hunters. <sighs> <sighs> Good times. 
Time to say bye. Boom. Say bye. Boom. 
The dance stage to them, my dear. <laughs> what a show. Well, thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. When I first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. Our transaction is complete. Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. From that galaxy ranger. I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. But, oh, there's no but. This is the truth. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Fatora's Ifrit? Nicely done, as expected. I'll cut to the chase then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. <laughs> In actuality, they were led by this Duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the Will of Destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. I'm not sure what the family was thinking. Or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? They harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blood. Blazing flames. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Ifrit is dead. They were eliminated. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panacone, checking into the hotel with only a music box. Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? The Galaxy Rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. 
Her story is almost too perfect. If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or, you can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Penicone. I need your help, so I'll wait. But not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon? Can I really believe venturing? But he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. My, my. You look like a small injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you're confused. And... sad. Whoever that girl might have been. A living soul. A memory that was meant to last. She simply vanished. Like the dissolution of bubbles in water, disappearing in an instant. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine. Or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Benaconi. I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions. For the truth, and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices, it is the right choice. Later, I'll stay by your side as a mimetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. Go and meet Aventurine, or I could still choose not to help. Excellent. I knew you would come. By the way, about that memo keeper... <sighs> Never mind. I won't press the issue further. I've said before you can liaise with your companions, or even twist the narrative against me. I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. It signifies your potential. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, my friends, don't let me down. Please, this way, if you will. Oh, right. I remember mentioning something after that. What was it again? <laughs> Familiar hallway, a familiar room. Do you remember? The last time we met was right here. This is it. Just beyond this door. Take a deep breath and get ready. Oh, I remember. My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. Tell me. Doesn't this feel eerily familiar? I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. Look, friend. The game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. <gasps> No reason to choose otherwise. And no, 
are their choices. <laughs> back. How is your preparation for the performance coming? It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine? <laughs> no, this is not good. You're the pride of the family. Don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. I... no. Brother... You seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Was it because of the Watchmaker's guest list? Yes. I received the report that... Death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. I'm sorry. I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. Somehow, a nightmare called Death has descended upon Panacone. Striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally. In the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family, such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. I can't believe this has happened. Was someone killed again? Yes. There were two. One was a stowaway, uh, the other... ...was you. That's enough, fool. Your deeds have saddened me. Pretty sharp, aren't you, chicken wing boy? The Odes of Harmony talks about honesty. The words of a fool begins with foolishness, and end in treacherous arrogance. Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Oh, come on, lighten up. Why so serious with all the quotations and references? I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? I mean, your darling sister's already a goner, right? Really? <laughs> Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. It's not yet time. When the fated day arrives, I shall mete out justice with unyielding righteousness. Wow, you can endure that much? Truly a heart of ice you've got there. Hey, maybe we could actually get along. How about this? I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. The family has a plan. Do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes on his wings? <laughs> There's no need. The Malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze, and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bow strung, causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. And when that time comes, the heathen will realize they are but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. And I... 
I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally. Watchmaker. <laughs>